Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. A painter working at the home discovered the bodies this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff joins us now live from the scene. And Alex, what can you tell us? On the second floor. Well, I don't know if you can see behind me right now, but there are plenty of neighbors outside here. So one of the big questions we had for police was should the community or this neighborhood be concerned right now? And while the chief said there is a heavy police presence here, he said anytime they're investigating a double homicide with a suspect at large, of course, that should be a cause for concern. Now, once again, police are investigating the death of a young couple believed to be married in their late 20s or early 30s. They were found dead inside of the home that they had lived in for just about a year we were told. Investigators add that they've never had any trouble or any calls to this property before, so what they saw today was a shock. Our officers responded to the house uh, and found a, a male deceased on the second floor. Upon further investigation, they found a second person, a female deceased, also on the second floor. Well, I'm going to tell them we're looking for a car. We're looking for a car that was in the scene, and we'll be giving an update on that vehicle shortly that's not here at the scene. Uh, that will help us. But as far as the neighbors, we are going to have active officers in the area here all night long throughout the next couple of days. I, I, I can't say don't be alarmed. You should be alarmed. Another big question we had was who located these bodies. The chief said that there is a plumber who was working on the property and had went inside of this home to use the bathroom and discovered the two bodies at that time, then calling police. Police have not clarified exactly how the couple was killed. They say there was a weapon found on the property, but they are trying to figure out if that weapon at all was used today. And once again, police say they are going to be looking for a vehicle. We will have that description hopefully soon, and we'll get that to you as soon as possible. Reporting live in Bucks County, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Alex, thank you. We'll be standing by.